Hi, I'm Lee Williams, the gun writer at the Herald Tribune, and I am here with our good friend, Mike Young of Young Guns and How Safety. You good, man. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. And along with Mike Lang, behind the camera, we are out at beautiful Area 51 at Manatee Gun and Archery Club. Club manager Gene Pitts has been gracious enough to open up the range for us today. We got a whole range to play with, and we got a lot of guns, and we're going to be testing these. And these are sappy plates from Safeguard Armor. They're 3A, or I'm sorry, they're level three, level three, level three. so that should stop anything up to and including 308 standard M80 ball around. We brought some stuff though. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna push the envelope a bit. Yeah. The one thing I like about these are the price, and that one is obviously lighter than hell. Yeah, this one's really light. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude, and you know, I carry a lot of weight with me anyways, but this is very, very light. Um, it's even a little padded on the side, so it wouldn't really get you in your areas. Cover up the vitals? Yeah. So, because of the price point, we're always a little nervous when we see cheap body armor, but if anybody's in the market, and uh, it's definitely a good price, we're going to try it out. Well, enough talk. Let's do some shooting. Let's let's see it. First gun we're going to shoot it, we're going to start slow. We're going to just take a Glock 17 with some ball ammo, Winchester white box. Got it. Look at that. Yep. Man, that did nothing. That did nothing. That rounds in there. Okay, we're going to take it up a little bit. Now Mike's going to shoot it with his 23, 40, or, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. Winchester white box again. Yeah, that one cracked the plate. Chaz is going to shoot a Glock 21. We're going to put some 45 ACP on him. Yep, penetrated. Did it go through? Yep. That's because you hit right next to the 40 too, that, though. That yeah. You know. We're thinking the 40 softened her up, and then the 45 just hit her again. Right here, we hit with the 45 ACP. We hit on the corner of the plate, and the round actually didn't penetrate all the way through the back. It deflected the round out the side. So what would happen is it would actually still skim uh, whoever was wearing the plate, but it wouldn't enter the shooter. Vitals. Vitals, thank you. This is Dave, also working at Young Guns and Safety. Um, what do we got here, Dave? We have a 44 caliber Desert Eagle made by Israeli Military Industries. Uh, it's, like, it's, like you said, it's chambered in 44, 230 grain, uh, soft, soft tip uh, bullets. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Didn't penetrate. Didn't penetrate. Very impressive. We're going to start with some rifles now. The pistols have been pretty good. Um, plates have held up pretty well. Chaz, what are we shooting? Uh, today we have a Bushmaster XM15. It's chambered in 223, and we're going to be shooting some Federal 55 grain rounds out of it. That stopped it, didn't it? That stopped that it. That stopped it. The lighter one stopped both of them so far. Okay, so one. far my money would be on this one, but this one went through. That powdered the uh, ceramic, yep. and you can see daylight through it. We're going to shoot next. Uh, we're going to shoot uh, General Tim, uh, Mikhail Timofeyevich is a brilliant design. Uh, this is my AK. 762 by 39 uh, Standard Wolf military classic, so it's just regular Soviet-style uh, ammo. Oh! All right. Did it go through? We got a center hit. Right there through the fresh tape. And, whoo! <laughs> Did it stop? It yes. stopped! No way! Yes. Yeah, we got, what are we shooting now, Mike? This is an Armalite AR-10. 7.62 by 51, 149 grain, full metal jacket. They're three level, or they're level three, so they should stop this round. They should. Ooh. Nice hit. Ouch. Um, guys? It didn't make it, did it? It stopped it! Oh my god. I'll take two. Yeah. Yeah. This is the back right here. Never made it through it. It totally obliterated it, but it never made it through. That put a hole in there, but... It stopped it. You're not leaking. Nine. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Yeah. We're, taping it back together. we're putting the plate back together. Uh, it blew the last, I don't know, five to ten layers of Kevlar right off the thing and the back cover. But as everybody said, it didn't penetrate. 
So you're just doing this so we can keep shooting. We're gonna do this so we can keep shooting. Exactly right. Uh, this is a pretty impressive piece of gear here. We're gonna increase it, uh, take it up again another notch. You got a 5.7 here, P90. What's the nomenclature on the civilian one? Uh, PS90. PS90. And this round is designed to, de to defeat. It's supposed to. Let's give it a try. I mean, All right. No kick on this. I'd say it's working. There's one there, 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 there. The composite is holding up incredibly well. Nothing has gone through it yet. It took a full bore 308 round. It blew the back of it off. We taped it back together. Nothing's penetrating it. This one, the, the ceramic, you can tell the ceramic's been cracked. We've got a couple that have gone through. We're gonna try and shoot a little higher up where the ceramic hasn't been touched. But this, this model right here, nothing's penetrated it. What are we shooting now, Dave? We got an M1 Garand. We got some pretty special ammo coming. Yeah, we have some uh, very rare birds, some 30 out 6 black tip AP rounds. I've never actually seen some up close and personal. This will be nice. Go right. Go high. There you go. The ceramic was not there, uh, was not cracked up here. She's dead. We got exits. Oh my god, yeah. We have two exits. We got uh, penetration on the on the Kevlar vest for the first time. The AP just went right through. Well, it's designed to penetrate armor. AP stands for armor piercing. So. Uh, we're gonna ramp it up a little bit more. Uh, this is your nice 590, the Mariner, right? Yeah, yeah Mossberg 590, 12 gauge. We're going with some uh, slugs. See what it'll do to it. Freaking stop it. It stopped the slug. Holy shit. Well, we're shooting. This is a, a Mosin Nagant M44 7.62 by 54R. Well, if anything's going to go through it, this one will. Oh okay. my. Oh. We, hit a, we hit it with the uh, 7.62 by 54R, and it, it was on the corner, and it pushed it out of the way, but it did not penetrate. It, the 7.62 by 54R round did not penetrate this vest. This is. It stretched it. You can see it stretched the Kevlar, but it didn't go through. Wow. 